Hi. So what happens when you talk about being bisexual? And that is what I'm going to be talking about today in this video as soon as I let you know that this video is sponsored by my bisexual t-shirts on Amazon. More about that at the end of the video. Until then, so what does happen when you talk about being bisexual? There are two things that do happen. The first one is, and I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this, it's the me too factor. I can tell you that in every friend group that I've ever had, and I'm talking about from elementary school to today, every time that I've mentioned that I'm bisexual to someone in that group, someone else in that group says me too. Now they don't necessarily identify as bisexual, but they talk about having some sort of bisexual attraction, whether it be romantic or sexual. It's not necessarily once I say it, in fact, there was one case where it took like a year and a half before the person who was bisexual even brought up the fact that they were also attracted to guys. So in every case in my life, every time I've mentioned I'm bisexual, someone in that group later on at some point says that they're bisexual as well. Not necessarily identity, but, uh, but their, uh, their orientation. And as an example of that, so some of you know that this week I went up to Vancouver because I had to shoot a video with Elena Fender. FYI, it's going to be on the Fluid Star clothing line. and It's going to be the big reveal of the clothing line I did with her. Anyway, so I was up there after we shot the video. I asked her, so what else can I do in Vancouver? I'm here for a day. And she said, well, there's a vegan restaurant called Meat that everyone loves. So I went there. And because I was by myself, I sat at the bar. And um, I saw there was someone sitting inside me, a woman. And at one point, I kind of like reach over her a little bit to grab like a napkin. And she says, oh, do you want the condiments? I'm done with them. And hands them off. FYI, ladies, if you ever want a guy or a girl to talk to you, the best thing you can do is to either ask them for a favor or to do a favor for them. So like she gave me, she did me the favor of offering me the, um, the hot sauce, the ketchup. And that was enough. I just said, thank you, I took the hot sauce. And then like within a minute later, I turned and started talking to her. Anyway, so that's just a side note. So we're chatting and she asks me why I'm here in Vancouver. And I said, well, I shoot videos. And someone in Vancouver, I shot a video with. She's like, oh, okay, film industry. I'm like, no, no, YouTuber, I'm bisexual. I do bisexual videos. And there was a bisexual YouTuber in, in Vancouver. So we started chatting about this. And I said, well, do you know? And the funny thing is she didn't re react at all. Anyway, so I, so I, uh, I said, I, I'm looking for a suggestion of what I could do next, like after I leave this, this restaurant. She's like, oh, there's this place and this place and this place. And Elena had told me about um, a place called Davy Village, which is like the gay part of town. I was like, okay, maybe I should check that out. So I asked the person I'm talking to, um, well, what about Davy? She says, oh, um... Well, my queer friends like to go to this place and this place. I'm like, oh, so she has queer friends. Okay, well, we're getting something now. And we continue talking, and, and then she mentions her girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, she, she has a girlfriend. Okay, this is, getting, this is getting more interesting. And we continue talking, and then she mentions her boyfriend, like a boyfriend she had. And I'm just like, I'm talking to another bisexual. Okay, you know, but I'm calm, I'm cool. I turned around and I say, so um, you are bisexual. And the word could barely come out of her mouth. Like it was like, I, I don't usually say bisexual because of the negative connotations associated with it. And then we get into this like interesting conversation where she accepts that she is bisexual, but she doesn't use identity bisexual because of the negative connotations. She uses the word queer. And I asked her, well, does she ever date bisexual dudes? And what's the feeling on that? And she's like, she would never do that. I'm like, why? And we just kind of like go on with this. And it's such an interesting conversation. But, you know, basically, I mentioned I was bisexual. And that opened the door to her coming out to me as bisexual. And it was incredibly interesting. But that wasn't the only thing. So afterwards, I leave that restaurant. I go to a bar to watch the Lakers game. And I'm at this sports bar in, you know, Gastown, which is just another part of Vancouver. And I'm talking to the bartender who's really friendly and stuff like that. And, and you know, ultimately, in the third quarter, as time has gone on, 
Um, he asked me, so what am I doing in town? I say, same thing I said before, which is, you know, I came to shoot a video. He's like, oh, film industry. Again, I'm like, no, no, uh, YouTuber, I'm bisexual, blah, 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 blah. I do the whole thing. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and I uh, start talking about being bisexual. And he very quickly, like within the first minute, slips in the conversation that he's, you know, straight and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool, whatever, we can do talking. And I ask him, so do you know any bisexuals? And he said, yeah, my girlfriend, my girlfriend's bisexual. I'm like, oh, cool, dude, that's, that's awesome. We chat about that for a little bit. And then he says something very interesting, which is that he said that he made out with a dude in high school and that he enjoyed it. And I'm like, oh, this conversation just took a turn and it got really interesting. So we continue to talk and then I say to him, well, do you know what the definition of bisexual is? He's like, I don't. So I tell him, you know, the definition of bisexual is having the capacity to have a romantic or sexual attraction to more than one gender. He's like, oh, okay. I said, do you know like the major factor in being bisexual is like dopamine. Like when you kiss that dude, did you get a dopamine rush? And, like he like walks away and comes back and says, it wasn't as big as when I'm like making out with a girl or anything like that. I mean, like when I when I make out with a girl, it's like really big, but that that wasn't as big. I'm like, well, like I said, a part of being bisexual is it doesn't have to be the same amount. You could have different amounts of attraction. And you know, what you're kind of describing could be something called a mostly straight. Like you could be you could use the term mostly straight. And his the wheels are just turning in his head. And at the end of the night, it just kind of like really became clear to me. Yes, he identified as straight. Yes, the woman at the at the restaurant identified as queer. But both of these people had bisexual, bisexual was their orientation because they had, at least to some degree, a sexual attraction towards the, uh, towards both genders or more than one gender. So there you go. One night, two bars, both people I was talking to ended up being on the bisexual spectrum. What happens when you talk about being bisexual? You get a lot of me too's, even when you're completely not expecting it. Now, what's the other thing that happens when you talk about being bisexual? As you all know, I did a video called The Five Stages of Bisexuality. And in the video, I say that I'm in stage four. And I honestly don't think that I'll ever get to stage five because stage five is Zen. And Zen is when, like, like, you being bisexual, it doesn't matter. Like you don't know whether or not you're bringing it up because it just comes up in natural conversation and you can't remember. It's like, you know, what city are you from? Or what's the name of your dog? Or, you know, it's like stuff like that where it's just like it does it matters so little to you that it, that you kind of forget about it. And because I write bisexual romance, I do these YouTube videos, um, you know, I have a clothing company where I design clothing for bisexuals. Because of all that stuff, I always felt that I would never be able to not talk about it. But the funny thing is, or not think about it, and the funny thing is that the more I talk about it, the less charge talking about being bisexual is. So like charge is like when you, when you feel something, you know, whether it's a positive feeling or a negative feeling or whatever it is, like that's charge, emotional charge. So the more I just force myself to talk about it, the less charge that has. And I noticed when I, like, I got a rule, I decided, you know, since I do all these things, I can't shy away from talking about bisexuality. I have to like put it front and forefront. And um, when I first started talking about it, it was kind of like, should I be doing this? Like that thought always went through my mind. In this particular situation, should I bring it up sort of thing, even though I still did. But now, months later, it's like, no, it, like I don't even think about it. And I was just like this little blip of, oh, I'm about to bring up that I'm a bisexual. So it's still there. But because I'm talking about it all the time, I am a lot closer to Zen than I was before I did it. So what are the two things that come from talking about being bisexual? You get a lot of me too's and you, you might have felt alone. But when you start talking about it, you really stop feeling alone. Then secondly, it brings you closer to Zen. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. And if you would like to support the channel and you'd like to represent bisexuality yourself and not have to talk about it so much, you can check out my t-shirts on Amazon. 
This is still the best-selling bisexual t-shirt on Amazon. It comes in both short sleeve and long sleeve now, but I have 25 other designs you can also check out, which are also very cool. You can also check out my lapel pins. Um, I have the heart. I have the word pride with bisexual colors. And I've actually become very fond of wearing this like in the top button of my button downs. Like it just kind of like fits there really well. It's like, it's kind of cool. So if you'd like to pick up a lapel pin, you can check the link in the description below for both the t-shirts and the lapel pin. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I do many videos on the bisexual topic. I try to do video every Sunday. I've been succeeding recently. But if you'd like to know when the video comes out, you can click on the bell. And by doing that, you'll be telling YouTube that you'd like to know when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. Bye. And check out the t-shirts on Amazon. They're only $16.95. They're a great price. Cheapest on Amazon. <laughs> Bye.